into this next match. All right, then we'll get it into it. We shall immediately destroy it. Oh, whoa. Hold on a second. That was really good DI from Dill. Normally when numbers down throw somebody on the platform, you see this sort of thing where if they miss their tech on that platform, they take 70 damage. Yeah, that's Dill. So knows exactly like uh, I guess we, we always talk about numbers gonna throb. Dill knows how to fight numbers. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. There's no questions. Knows how to fight We Fit and knows how to fight numbers as We Fit specifically. These two have played so much over the years. Like oh god. They they put in their Malcolm Gladwell ten thousand hours purely on each other. Oh, I really like that attempt, actually. That's some knowledge of numbers, knowing that that's his common spot. We fit would stop your ball with deep breathing, go for that S smash. Means that numbers has not gotten any footing in ages. Kicked his own footing for him right there. Oh, yeah. Numbers kind of just trying to be a little bit over eager to get back to the ledge and dies. was right. That, that, D. That, <laughs> that might be the worst DI I've ever seen, numbers. So, I'll be honest. I don't think the laser hit. I, I... No, no, he died before the laser came out. Yeah, yeah, that was numbers. Uh, it's okay. It happened to the best of us. Keep going, King. <laughs> he is right there with that sun salutation. Oh, numbers wanted to grab the gyro with that dash attack, but stopped just sort of it instead. Lost him a bunch of stage positioning, and now all of this, oh, all of this tempo has been undone. He's already at 53%. Dill. Man, just look at the, like, Rob is a zoner that beats other zoners. The way that he's able to threaten Weave it from across the stage with laser like that. Yeah, it's funny. My friend, um, pretty new to competitive Smash, lost to a Weave Fit round one, and it's a Rob main. First thing I told him, you gotta use laser. It totally just goes through everything, completely can shut I down cannot. anything Weave Fit does. Ooh, beautiful air dodge. Okay, but there's barely any fuel in the tank. Doesn't matter. Kills him off the top instead. Yeah, I, I, I want to talk about it. I love that stall from Dill on that last stock. Oh my god. Please. It's so interesting right there. You saw Dill when John has spawn invincibility. Literally just flies in the air away from Weefit. It just lets Weefit do Weefit things. Does not want to get caught in like a deep breathing nair or something while the invincibility is still active. At the same time, like... I think it speaks that Dill is willingly putting herself in a, a bad position, like, you know, trying to land. Because I think she's confident in her ability to handle numbers right now. You know? Yeah, clearly. With just She's been doing a lot of call-outs offstage, and that just shows commonly in the numbers, because I think that's where numbers thrive, so you're too scared to call them out, and you can just do whatever he wants. So or Dill, when you try to call him out and you die. Yeah, that's also yeah. his, his element. That's why you gotta be confident in your call outs to like know exactly where we fit's gonna be. Just like that. What a really good Ooh. jump back on the air dodge. That sneaky ball though. Exploding. That's even stock count. It's not what I would call an even game quite yet, but at least for numbers, this is not the end of the road. Another one of those back throws. Interesting that he, she's not even opting for the uh, the down throw mix-up at all. I think Dill knows how good numbers is at mashing out of that, and I think we'll only do it at like truly like a guaranteed percent even against any well, match. Or just up throw like that. The pile driver! Yeah, beautiful like or, I wonder if numbers he's been dying to, he's been getting grabbed rolling in a bunch actually. Um twice that stock he got uh, Dill like down tilted, then put in a tech chase. Numbers rolls in, and what Dill does is Dill will do an option select for tech in place or no tech, and like do like a down tilt in there, like we saw right there, to cover that, and then immediately dash back on reaction to the roll in. So Dill like clearly has this flow chart laid out for what to do after a down tilt when putting in a tech chase situation that is really good against numbers because he's been rolling in a lot. He's gotten grabbed for it twice that time, killing him. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, the very beginning of this match is going to be extremely, it's going to be a tone setter. Because if Numbers is not able to shake off what had just happened to him, which, oh, that's what it's looking like. He is shielding a lot. He is scared of Dill. Oh. I think that the, uh, the I think the beatdown is going to continue. We don't really see, there has not been a paradigm shift in the way he's been playing. Uh, this is looking absolutely even right now. It's looking like Dill's game.
Yeah, and holding onto that gyro the whole time kind of was honestly limiting. Like, just I feel like numbers was hell bent that whole disadvantage to keeping the gyro and ended up just not throwing out anything. Dill kept running over. Ooh, and this this honestly. Okay. Why even? But do <laughs> and the taunt. Ta oh my god, Dill just. You got taunting. Dill taunting. That's that's what you know. Yeah! <laughs> but that was very bizarre. I believe the gyro was lingering, hit the soccer ball, and then one of them hit back. We hit back. Uh, they'll literally just have to stand there um, and let the gyro do the dirty work. Well, that's already like 90% of Rob's yeah. game plan, right? Ooh, I, I love that reverse spike hit. Wow, what a turnaround. Wow, Hold on. Tough. Why is this an even game? I... That... <laughs> That wasn't. So, I, I I I'm pretty sure this wasn't supposed to be an even game. The last time I don't know, yeah. thirty oh, seconds ago. Oh, oh never oh, mind. Hey, yeah. she heard you. She yeah, heard okay. you. Good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> balance is restored. Right, this time, Dill didn't taunt. I think that was a bit of a curse on herself. So didn't taunt after taking that stock. Yeah. Killing John. Oh, and honestly, this could be it right here. Okay, uh, John, really good at jumping and grabbing that uh, gyro when you put a gyro at ledge, not letting um, himself get hit by that. Just looking to try and get in there. You see, he's fishing for that forward. That forward at this percent would be a great combo starter. But Dill is just aware of that, just pacing himself oh. too far back. And now things. This could be the end for numbers. That's gonna be an upper. It's not quite enough to do yeah. it, but 125. And Dill just using these like empty Z drops to just put the hitbox out. It's been really good. It's such a clever way to mix up your aerial pressure. And that was a dominating game, too, from Dill. Yeah. Even after he like, reverse zero to Yeah, death. no, it almost wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Like, it felt like, oh, wow, numbers might take this back. Also, what happened to the gyro? Why did the gyro decide to, you know, it, it become got one hit, with the sun? Yeah, it got hit by the, the up B. Of, I think it was, like, the starting yeah, hitbox of the up B. I so, mean, yeah, yeah the, the, the up B has these hitboxes, but... Just weird. And she grabbed it. That's hilarious. It, it actually guided her where to do the back air. It was like, you want to do it right here. Yeah, Dill, soul bound with the gyro. Uh, it even edge guarded for her the first stock. So clearly, once you play Rob enough, you sell your soul. And the gyro listens to you oh, yes. telepathically. So <laughs> It's, it's like the stuff. little devil on your shoulder. Yeah. You know, once you make the pact, it is always there and listening. I and Can't drink this water. I want to say uh, really quickly before we get into our next match, if you're enjoying this, uh, help these players get some more money in their pockets. 